Uh, Glenn McGregor, City News. You referred in your opening remarks to exports of Canadian nuclear reactors. You were asked yesterday at the CEO event about how you felt about building more nuclear reactors for domestic use in Canada. Your response wasn't really clear to me. Could you maybe elaborate about how you feel about provincial governments increasing the number of nuclear facilities? I think uh, we are going to need significantly more baseload power in Canada uh, if we're going to continue to draw in the kind of global investment we've been able to draw in around the world. Canada has increased its foreign direct investment by 60% since 2015. Last year, we were the third destination country in the world for foreign direct investment, which means we were number one per capita in the G20. The world is interested in coming to Canada because we have some of the best workers in the world, we have the natural resources, we have trade deals with the world, and we have an 80% clean energy grid already. That is an extremely attractive proposition that countries and companies around the world want to be part of. But as we're drawing in these significant investments, whether it's Honda or Volkswagen uh, or mining interests like Rio Tinto or others that are building up uh, so much of our uh, capacity to deliver to partners what the world needs from reliable, uh, trustworthy sources, we're going to need more power. And we need that power to be as low emission as possible. Yes, we, uh, we phased out our, uh, or we're phasing out our coal-fired coal power plants. We're uh, looking for CCUS around our natural gas uh, to uh, abate the production. We're developing hydrogen solutions. We're investing in wind and solar and all sorts of different solutions. But we're going to need nuclear to be part of the mix. And I'm busy uh, pitching nuclear energy around the world, have been for a number of years, which resulted in uh, deals with Romania, not with just uh, two new can-do reactors, but refurbishing a number of existing reactors to extend their life. There is a real opportunity for Canada with both uh, a vibrant nuclear industry that's innovating around small and modular reactors in a number of provinces, that's uh, got a reliable source of uranium in Saskatchewan, that the world is looking to to replace uh, the Russian uh, supply chains that are now uncertain for many. And people know that even though nuclear does come with real challenges, significant expense, long lead time to build them, if we want to keep drawing in investments and create opportunities for Canadian jobs, um, nuclear is going to have to be part of the mix. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the opportunities. And uh, we're going to continue working with provinces. But it's not the federal government that decides where and when one builds power generation. But I can tell you I've had many conversations with a number of provinces about a nuclear being a solution, particularly in places where there is no hydroelectricity or hydroelectricity capacity is uh, pretty close to maxed out.